In this video, we learn about the trimming registers. To explain the job of the trimming registers, let's use an example. Let's use the 100 watt evaluation board. Turn on the power supply. Let's connect a voltmeter on the output. Click on the voltage settings icon. Notice that the output voltage is not exactly 12 volts, and this is reflected in the GUI. This is due to a various combination of factors such as diode drops, trace resistances, and non-ideal capacitors. This is where the flexibility of the ADP1043A and digital power management can be appreciated. Each ADP1043A chip has trimming registers to trim the input current, the output current, output voltage, and the RTD temperature sense. These registers are not overwritten whenever a new file is loaded in order to retain the trimming of all the ADCs. This allows the chip to retain the particular board environment caused by component tolerances, circuit nuances, or other effects such as thermal drift that are very board specific. These registers can be configured during production through the GUI and do not require any parts to be desoldered in order to get, for example, a more accurate quantity. Trimming registers use a combination of gain trim and offset trim to accurately set the required quantity, such as the output voltage in this case. To set the output voltage accurately, click on the auto trim feature at the bottom left hand of the screen. Choose the 100% value and click apply. The output voltage can be further fine tuned using the trim value below. Notice the change in output voltage and the accuracy with which it is now set. Click on the Auto Trim button. This will automatically initiate an algorithm that trims the output voltages at the local and remote points in the circuit. These settings cannot be saved to a file, but are instead stored directly on the IC, as they depend heavily on the operating environment. Once these settings are finalized, click on the icon labeled Program Registered Contents to EEPROM. Now, let's trim the output current measurement. Click on the Setup tab and hit the CS2 settings. Notice that the output current reading is not exactly 8 amperes. To correct this, click on the Auto Trim button and follow the automated procedure. First apply a zero load condition and then enter the nominal output load and click on Auto Trim. Once the Auto Trim has completed, you can now see the correct value in the GUI. Save these settings on the EEPROM. A similar walkthrough procedure can be used to set the primary current in the CS1 settings window. Let's move to the RTD temperature sense. It relies on a manual trim. The thermistor is placed close to the orfit and reflects the orfit's temperature. Apply the trim by measuring the temperature of the orfit externally and then changing the trim value so that the value in the GUI reflects the actual measurement. An accurate temperature measurement can now be read in the GUI. 